Dear Hunter, my name is Daniel. The mountain that we call home has been overrun by a demonic infestation, cursing us with this unnatural winter. Please, only you can help us cleanse and retake our home. If you choose to take on this task, please meet me at the base of the mountain. The infestation has spread faster than I can contain. So please, go up the mountain without me. Sorry. I'll do my best to find you later on. In the meantime, once you get to town, ask for Annalise. She can help you out a lot. Best of luck.
Hello. Rare to see a new face around here. I'm Annalise, doctor of the town up ahead. You look frostbitten and wounded. If you wish, I can heal you with the supplies I have on hand. Sure, not a problem. So what brings you here? Oh, you're the demon hunter Daniel asked for. Thank you so much for coming. And oh yes, Daniel, a pout-faced and quiet man, a good friend of mine. I haven't heard from him recently, though. Daniel's been really focused on stopping this infestation, but he has a tendency to lose track of other important things. A while ago, we talked for so long he forgot to eat dinner. Please, when you find that idiot, give him a good beating and drag him back to town for me, okay? It's difficult finding herbs in this unnatural winter. So sometimes, such as now, I'd sneak out of town to scavenge. However, this goes against Carlton's curfew on the town. So seriously, don't tell anyone about this, okay? The demons drain the life of the mountain to cause this winter. They always come back, no matter how many we fought off. Because they're more concentrated near the mountaintop, we theorize that their origin is there, and we must cleanse it to truly stop them. Before you leave, I uh, need some help. I should really get back before Carlton finds out I'm gone. So, can you clear out the short path back to town for me? It's through the abandoned church on the right. Thank you, and be careful. I found the first spores in late winter. They're generally docile, clumping near shrubs, but would band together to protect their weak points when prodded. An effective mechanism, but unnatural for wildlife around here. So I collected samples to bring back to my lab for further research. Their slimes spewed all over me as I carried them, though. <laughs> Disgusting creatures.
that garb. A demon hunter? Fascinating. I am Carlton, resident scholar of this town. You must be here to cleanse the infestation. Well, I can help you with that. Come by my office. It's just to the left of here. Broken again. Don't worry, we'll fix it up in no time. Carlton is such a slave driver. Always telling me to light torches without doing anything himself. Glad to see you can make it. Here, a token of appreciation to aid you on your journey. Pretty neat, huh? I made it based on researching the demons myself. And if you can bring me additional demon essence, I can study them more and enchant even stronger equipment for you. I learn more and you kill more. A fine deal, if you ask me. So what do you say, partner? Daniel's my protege. He send you? Smart kid. Has a bad habit of cutting contact with people when tackling tough problems, though. Probably why we haven't seen him around recently. The demons originated from the mountaintop. And to kill them completely, you have to burn that root. So if you're going up there, which you should, take my advice. After you leave town, you'll run into a fork in the road. Take the left path. I lined it up with torches. It'll save you needless trouble. When the demons showed up, everyone was thrown into a frenzy. But I stayed calm and evacuated everyone into the walls, imposing a curfew so no one can get hurt outside. A tough job managing the town under this situation, but we're stable now. Godspeed, Hunter. Dear Hunter, I see you've met Carlton. If you're free, can you drop by my clinic? It's just to the right. Please, I need some help. Welcome to my clinic, dear Hunter. Please, make yourself at home. But first, if you wish, I can heal you with my supplies here. There you go. Should be all better now. I can also provide additional healing items to take on your journey. I just need some demon essence from you to distill with the herbs. Now before I tell you my request, is there anything else I can help you with?
Behind me, there's a door. It leads to my secret herb garden. It's where I grow my medicinal supplies in this dreadful winter. And it's a secret, so don't tell anyone. Otherwise, they'll know I'm sneaking out of town. Anyway, since your magical flame doesn't burn living beings, can you use it to keep the herbs warm for me? In return, I can take what's grown to make you more medicine. Just go through the door behind me. I'd really appreciate your help. And don't tell anyone. Welcome back, dear hunter. Have you seen the garden? I'm really proud of it. And you should be too. You're my garden partner now. With our combined effort, it will be the best garden on this whole mountain. Not that that says much in this dreadful winter, but we're optimists here. The winter killed most of the herbs on the mountain. Rationing can only last me so long. Actually, if you come across any herbs on your journey, can you bring them back to me? It'll be a great help, and I can make more medicines in return. Just be careful. The demons are attracted to their life force. You probably haven't met Barnes yet. He's really friendly. Actually, he helped me build this clinic when I first came here. He used to be a huntsman, so he's probably out fighting demons right now. If you find him, can you make sure he's all right? I worry about him. Stay safe, dear hunter. Welcome back, dear hunter. Stay safe, dear hunter. the demon source is on the mountain top but who would want to go up there it's scary Oh, hello there. I haven't seen you around before.
first met Annalise in early spring. She's the first person I ran into after all winter, and was also studying with spores. So we exchanged findings. She said, Their slimy flesh is not suited for this environment. I responded, You're right. And how does it relate to their translucency? I'm not sure. But let me know if you find out. Then she left. I wished I had more to tell her. Thank <laughs> you. 